Hello my beautiful listening souls, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Esmeralda. For today I wanted to show you and just tell you why it is that I cut my hair. I love it, I love my hair. It, I've never actually had it this short, probably when I was like really little. But I really like it, I really enjoy it and I wanted to spread this message to you. You know this is kind of like a like getting to know where I am in my journey and just how this relates to my hair. For starters, this is my hair. This isn't how my hair will usually look. I mean, I just got it cut, so I'm still learning how to style it and whatnot. But this is me like with products in my hair. My hair is naturally really full and really voluminous. Anyways, so where do, where do I begin? Where do I begin? 2020 was very life-changing for all of us and I really do believe that it was very eye-opening for a lot of us as well. I let go of a lot of old habits, toxic people, just a lot of a lot of toxicity in my in my life in general. I let go of a lot of things. And going into 2021, I've always wanted to cut my hair short, probably shorter than this to be honest, for like since 2 years ago. And I finally decided to do it. And I know there's going to be people saying, oh, well, you know, your hair looked better while I was long, or thank you, but I didn't ask for your opinion. Your opinions are just a projection of your own insecurities, you know? And I think society already does that enough where, oh, you have to look a certain way for you to feel beautiful, for you to just love yourself. And I really don't think that's true, you know? All of us were made different all of us are perfect in our own way because we are all unique and by you doing what it is that you love doing no matter what other people are going to say this is something that makes you empowering this is something that makes you unique so i'm here for all of you i'm here for every single one of you whether it is that you want to cut your hair short whether it is that you want to grow your hair out whether you shave whether you wax whether you're not like everybody's unique in their own way and this is something beautiful and this is something that we should embrace and not bring other people down for so getting into why I cut my hair in my spiritual journey I feel like from 2020 to 2021, I've gone through this transition where in 2020, I was leaving my old self, the person who I really wasn't, the person who projections of other people got onto me and then became my beliefs. I left all of that behind. So now that I'm in a, I was in a place where kind of in between, at first it was like in between my old self and my, and my new self. You know, I hadn't let my old self go, but now I'm in a place where I let my old self go, but I'm still not who I who I truly am. And by me being able to explore what it is that I like and just enjoy myself and do what it is that I love, do what it is that, you know, whatever changes I want to make in my life, I ask myself, who am I? What do I like? What don't I like? Who am I before my parents' projections were onto me or the people that were around me in my childhood got onto me and became my own belief system? Who am I if I remove the labels from society that you have to look a certain way to feel beautiful, to just be seen as beautiful? We're human. Not just human, we're also spiritual beings. And we have flaws, but that's everything that is us makes us unique. Whether that be your hair, whether it be your skin, whether it be your smile, whether it be your height, whether whatever it is, all of you, your habits, the things you love doing, the things you don't like, that makes you unique. And it's something that we shouldn't be afraid to embrace. So yes, I cut my hair short. Do I love it? I absolutely love it. Don't be afraid to take risks in your life. And if you know there's people that aren't serving you and 
you want to evolve, know that there's going to be people that you're going to be attracting who are also wanting to evolve. But if these people you're surrounding yourself with aren't evolving, it is time for you to let them go and move on to better things. By me cutting my hair, you know, the story behind this is that my father, my pops, my pops, I'm gonna call my pops, didn't allow us to cut our hair when we were younger. Only trim it a little bit, but he didn't allow us to cut our hair. So I always had long hair growing up. And you know me being a little girl, I didn't really care. I love my long hair. And then it got to a point where I actually wanted to start cutting my hair and I wasn't allowed to. This 2021, I really want to make this the best year of me enjoying myself, loving myself, and exploring who I am. Whether this be I cut my hair short and I keep it short, or whether this be I cut my hair short and I let it grow out. We are always evolving and we are always changing. If you are changing, that's a good thing because that means you're evolving. So don't be scared to do something that isn't considered the normal thing to do. Because nobody can tell you what to do or what not to do. By me cutting my hair, I felt like I was releasing my past. And a lot of people say, oh, long hair makes you feel empowered. But for me, having short hair makes me feel empowered because it makes me feel confident. And I'm not afraid to show my real hair, show my real skin. You know, we all have some imperfections here and there. I break out here and there, but my skin, this is the best it's looked in years. So there's no shame around how I look. There's no fear around how I look and I own it. And if somebody can't respect that you own your confidence, that you own who you are because you know yourself, then there's work that they need to get done because that's just their own projection and insecurities. We all go through ups and downs in life. But if you're currently going through your spiritual awakening, if you've been going through it for years or not, I admire that. I admire that you're taking the time to break generational cycles, to break old habits, to break just toxicity. Because you have the understanding that living in the past brings depression and living too far into the future brings anxiety. So all you want to do now is live in the present which will bring you peace. And it's challenging, I'm not saying it's easy, it's challenging because you have to look at your shadow aspects and bring light into them. It's challenging, but it's worth it. It's worth it because you become your better version. You're, you become your best version. It takes effort. It takes determination. But don't ever give up. For no one. Change for no one but yourself. And that's only to be your best self to be your truest, most authentic self. Go out into the world embracing who you truly are because there's no fear that you should have to be able to show who you truly are. You should embrace this. Make that change. Let 2021 be the year you make that change. If you don't make it, nobody else will make it for you. And maybe there might be people around you that you don't that they don't understand what you're going through, but that's okay. You have to stay strong. Because you will attract your soul tribe. 
You will attract people who are actually meant to be in your life, who are not just there to teach you lessons, but are there to support you, that want to see you succeed. Make that change today because that change could be the best thing that has ever happened to you. Follow your heart and follow your soul, wherever your soul is calling you. Whether this be moving, whether this be exploring who you are, you know, what type of styles you're into, whatever the case might be, this isn't limited. You are unlimited. There's so many possibilities and opportunities out there for you. Don't let somebody's insecurity, somebody's projections, somebody's fears stop you from doing what it is that you want to do and what it is that you love. I'm sharing this with you today because I'm here for you. I am here for all of you who are bringing change into this world because when you change what's within, you change what's around you. When you change and you elevate your vibration, you're not just elevating yours, you're elevating everyone. Life is beautiful. We have to learn how to enjoy it and not by what other people do and not about what other people say or how they, they can make you feel or not. But by doing what it is that you love, this is what's going to bring you true happiness and true fulfillment. Don't let yourself feel stuck. Don't let yourself feel trapped. That's only in your mind. Because you know that with one change, one action, you change your whole life around. And if you're wanting to start your spiritual journey, go within. Find who you truly are and remove all self-limiting beliefs, labels, or whatever society, your parents, your teachers, your aunties, your uncle, whatever. Whoever you were surrounded with, whoever you're surrounded with now, Remove everything anyone ever brings. If it's good, if it's good, take it. If it's a good lesson in your life that you believe it will take you to your highest and best self, take it. But otherwise, release them. Find what your true path is. Find what your truth is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below. I would love to Get closer to the growing community. Whether I've known you for years or whether I've just met you. If this message touched you and you want to talk, text me. I'll, I'll link my Instagram down below. It's always down below. All my information you need to know, I'll leave it down below in the descript description box. I'm sending you tons of love, tons of light, and tons of universal strength. Your strength doesn't come from your ego. When you want to be in control, when you feel like you need to be in control, it's because you feel powerless. Set yourself free and flow with life. One love.